Hey there, it's Rogaway here and it's time for another tutorial. And in this tutorial what we're looking at is Adobe Lightroom. <clears throat> Adobe Lightroom is probably the uh, standard professional workflow uh, cataloging and editing software uh, for professional photography. And we're going to look at the advantages of using Lightroom the basics of the tools and, and where to find the initial settings that you need to get started in Lightroom. Um, the subsequent or the later tutorials are going to get more advanced after this. So let's get started. On my hard drive, I'm just going to find Lightroom. And in case you're looking for it, it might be kind of strange that it comes up as Adobe Photoshop Lightroom. And I'm just going to double click that and you should see Lightroom launching and uh, we're just going to let it create its first catalog. So here we go. So Lightroom is different from Photoshop in many ways. It, uh, it actually is better for organizing your images um, and I find that photo uh, Photoshop is better for um, advanced editing. So uh, let's get started here. So you'll notice that when you come into the actual interface of Lightroom, uh, you've got catalog along the side, you've got folders, collections, and publishing services where you can output to um, um, social media. And down at the bottom, you got import. And that's actually where we're going to start. One thing I want to draw your attention to before we go any further is you'll see library, develop, map, book, light, uh, sorry, slideshow, print, and web. And we'll, get, we'll come back to that in a bit. So what we're going to do is we're going to click import. And it doesn't matter whether you have um, thousands of files or, you know, you've inserted your uh, memory card from your camera. What we're going to do in this case, we're just going to import one photo. So we're going to go to my desktop. It's ready to go. I'm going to use this one, image 6352CR2. And as you can see, we can check off the ones we want to import. If we've got hundreds of images, we could select them all, or we can uncheck them all depending on how many we want to import. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to uncheck all, and I'm going to only select the one that I want. Now, if this was my USB stick, uh, or sorry, my uh, SD card, or my camera connected, I would probably want to bring in all of them. And down at the bottom right, we're going to say import. And that is going to bring that raw file into Lightroom. And now you can see that we have a single import in our catalog. Now, one thing I like to do right off the hop is set up my keywords. So if I double click this picture, I can look at it a little bit bigger. And we can see that it's going to need some editing. But down over here, we've got keywording. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to put some of the keywords for this scene. So I'm going to put Ring of Kerry, Ireland, uh, oops, sorry, Coastline, Rocks, whatever I think is important to describe this image. This is going to make it much easier to um, catalog and to find these pictures later. All right, so I've added a few keywords. And so now, um, once I'm looking at my image, you'll see down along the bottom that I have all these options. Now, when I go to, let's start with this grid on the left. When I go to that grid, it gives me a small preview. Now, once I've brought in tons of pictures, I'm going to have uh, a whole grid of images here. This view lets you see the single image. We're going to look at the other these options in a bit, but what I like about this program is that when you open up a picture, when you're going through your pictures, you can rate your pictures. So I if I feel that this is a very good image, I could give it five stars. If I don't think it's that strong, I can give it three stars or less, or whatever I want. Um, if it's blurry or out of focus or I don't like this image, I can reject it using these flags. Or I can say that this is one of the pics, which means that it's one of my better photos. This is all going to help with categorizing or sorry, cataloging our images later. So let's go to the next tab here, develop. I'm not talking about any of this yet. These are quick edits. We'll look at that later. 
Okay, we're going to go to develop. When I go to develop, I now have this image inside of the developer for Lightroom. You're going to notice that because this is a raw image, I have all of my raw adjustments along the right hand side. And I'll explain each one in a later video. I'm not going to spend time on that right now. Now one thing I like about Lightroom is that I got this little side by side icon right here. It looks like two Y's. And if I click it, I'm going to put the before picture next to the after picture. So as I make adjustments here, uh, let's say I'm adjusting my white balance, for example, and maybe I want this picture to be a little warmer, and I'm going to tweak my contrast. I'm just purposely making adjustments here so you can see. What I really like about this program is that it lets you see what you started with. So one good thing is to go back every now and then to see how your photo is coming along. All right, so again, that, that's a very handy feature, and we'll be looking at that later in our editing section of the tutorial. Next is Map, and Map will let you know where the image was taken if there is available GPS data in the metadata. I happen to know that this was in Ireland, so I could mark it on the map and say where it was found. But um, again, that's up to you. Uh, it, if your camera supports that, it'll do that automatically. Otherwise, you set it in your metadata in here. Next is Book, and this is Lightroom's way of kind of marketing their um, Adobe Books, which are fantastic quality, by the way. I've bought a few through them. And what it'll do is it'll take your images in your catalog and allow you to make a book out of them. It's taking a little bit to load here. But uh, once that loads, we'll be able to see that happening. Here we go. And because I only have one picture in here, my one picture is my entire book. Okay, but we can choose different layouts. And again, we're going to look at this in a later tutorial. We also have slideshow. So we can create a slideshow based off of our images. Okay, and uh, we can change a lot of, you know, the look of the slideshow. We can create a very... Uh, professional looking slideshow of our images. Again, I'll have a tutorial for that. Under print, we can set this picture up to print to our device, whether it's our printer or whatever, and we can set the size correctly. And the last one is web, and web will allow us to publish our image as a gallery. It could be an entire HTML gallery. Um, and it has a bunch of templates built in. So if you're not really the techie coder type of a person, you can take this and create a website very quickly using the catalog that you have within Lightroom. All right, so as you can tell, Lightroom has a ton of great features. It's perfect for those who are uh, professional photographers. Uh, it'll keep you organized and allow you to access your photos very easily, very quickly, has very good sorting and organizing features built in. And so I recommend that uh, if you are serious about your photography that you learn to use Lightroom and follow my uh, other tutorials to learn all the features of Lightroom. Hope to see you soon. Bye.